Did you know there was a track sprinting superstar who ran faster than Usain Bolt, broke Jesse Owens records, and was credited at one point as the fastest man in the world? If you didn't, it's probably due to his abrupt ending as an athlete superstar who went from the world's most famous athlete to a sudden disappearance that left fans in the entire sports world wondering what really happened to Xavier Carter. And Xavier Carter used to run track for LSU and he played a little football for him too. It's like he returned punts and kicks. He was like the fastest. Matter of fact, that was the fastest man in the world at one time. Yeah. That nigga beat Usain Bolt twice. Yeah. When I was fucking with him when he was at LSU, that nigga had a million dollar Nike contract his freshman sophomore year at LSU, driving a Laffy Taffy Pink Range Rover like Cameron. He from Baton No, he from Florida. He like from like a, like about 45 minutes outside Orlando. It's a little small town. Xavier Carter was born December 8, 1985 in Palm Bay, Florida, where he shined as a superstar track runner and football player. And by his high school junior year, he was the fastest team in Florida state and region with no plans on slowing down anytime soon. By the end of his high school career, he was the holder of nine Florida state titles, had broken and set new records. And with interest from almost every college in the nation, he decided to run with the Tigers at Louisiana State University, where he immediately picked up where he left off by breaking old records and setting new ones. Xavier Carter trying to pull off the 100-400 double at the same NCAA. At the 2006 NCAA Men's Outdoor Track and Field Championship, Carter won national titles in four events and became the first person to do so since Jesse Owens in 1935 and 1936. First man to do that since Jesse Owens back in the 30s. I know that has to mean something to you. Yeah, it means a lot. That same year, he took first place in the 200 meter race as an underdog, but more more impressively, he won against several world favorites, which included Usain Bolt. After the NCAA, Carter decided to finish his last two years of college while continuing to sprint and playing football for the Tigers. But somewhere in the mix, he began to show a different side of himself that had street life written all over it. Although he was already famous and easily on his way to much bigger things, maybe Baton Rouge wasn't a good residential choice for an elder teen with heavy energy ties to such a rugged background. I'm from like he came to Baton Rouge, like that's what I'm saying. Like you ain't supposed to come, like you come to Baton Rouge to come to school and you know run track and play football. That nigga in my hood. That's how I, I like. We shouldn't even know each other. You know what I'm saying? But we smoking piff together, like hanging, we doing fast forward. When I was living in Orlando, he used to come fuck with me and go to the club with me and shit. You know what I'm saying? So. We, I went back home and we went on our separate journeys. As talented as Lil Wood, man, that nigga just was like, oh, just a real hood baby. Like, how, like kind of how Kodak in them is, just, like that Florida shit. In 2007, Carter, along with two associates, were arrested after an altercation with a restaurant employee turned physical. After assaulting the worker with soda cans and food, the three men fled the restaurant, but were later apprehended. Carter was arrested again in 2008 after police found a loaded handgun in his vehicle during a traffic stop. And when I ended up coming back to Orlando in jail, man, when I went, when I got in uh, my orientation door, the first nigga I saw was him. <laughs> I'm like, man, what the fuck you doing in here, man? That nigga was in there big as a bitch, the biggest I had ever saw him. Like, you know, like really like, I couldn't even believe it. And then I hit that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Me and him talking, you know, he was a trustee of that bitch. So he had a little pool, that boy, later that night, that first night I was in that bitch, that boy came and gave me two loaves of bread. Like loaves of bread, like gold in that bitch, boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could do something with some loaves of bread, you know what I'm saying? So she went, the other set on oh, inmates and that bitch seen me with the bread. That shit kind of gave me some big dog standing out the gate. Like that nigga coming to this bitch to get two loaves of bread as soon as he hit this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, you know, word got the spread. And then as soon as I hit the back, a uh, little nigga had recognized me from the uh, Mr. Exposed video. He like, man, you on that Exposed one there, you know? So I, you know, I, I'm worldwide. Even when I was in jail in Wright Street in Atlanta, like niggas was recognizing me and fucking with me. Yeah, I, I did two months in that bitch. He was in that 60 days there for real. Yeah, I did two Street. months at Wright Street. I heard niggas say, niggas say I'd rather go to the. He said I'd rather go to prison than go to Wright Street, man. He yeah, said, it man, been just I, like prison. Yeah. But East Baton Rouge Parish just like that too. That bitch like a prison. That bitch, you you know, you might well go there and go. Fuck. <laughs> They talking about going to do some time in the past. It's Wright Street, like R I C E. Yeah, Wright Street. And what was that like, bro? 
and it was, that bill was like East Baton Rouge Pairs, but like on some Atlanta shit, like, cause they got some characters in Atlanta, like, you know, them niggas on some other shit, like, but them niggas dangerous too, but they like on some player shit, you know, it's just funny, like, it's just, it's just, they know you ain't from there, and then, you know, you, you know what I'm saying, you know you an alien, so it's just, I, I be, when I, when I'm in, the, when I'm in places like that, I'm quiet, but I'm quiet cause I'm like, learn and I'm scanning the room, you know what I'm saying? And, but other niggas who know shit, they could peep that about me, you know what I'm saying? So when they come talk, they know I talk bad, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? But man, that's good, man. You put me on anywhere in this earth, I'ma leave. I don't give a fuck. If I could pray that I could stay there, believe that. And I ain't checking out no line. Yeah, it is. You ever been locked up with any celebrities? <clears throat> Oh, uh, me and Spitter from Baton Rouge, we was locked up a whole year together. That's my little dog, though. We, I've been knowing him since we did. We went to Southern Lab together. I've been knowing him since like third or fourth grade, too. With my back in, bitch, I'm trying to scold me something. My money long as a parade, Spitter can throw you something. Me and Spitter was locked up together. Um, who else I've been locked up with? I don't fucking know, bro. Any uh, experiences with Webby? Mm hmm. Yeah, man, you guys are cool? no, I wouldn't say we're cool, but if I see him, we'll speak. I'm more cool with his brother, Dave, like okay. super unit, my dog. Let's keep it G, they need a reason, cause they know they can't. Can't find no flaw in me, I'm all G, they not the same. My mama from Dixie, my daddy from Bird Station, I got a lot of family out of the South, that's why I end up gravitating to the South when I was young and just snuff, getting my feet planted out there, you know what I'm saying? So, my family, like, even though they had some money, like my, my family from the hood, and they used to be, a, I used to be seeing a lot of shit. I used to be picking up the shit from like the, you know, the the young bosses at the time. And I wanted to be one, you feel me? Like I was going to the movies, watching Boys in the Hood with my aunties. Like, I remember we was in the movies, they had a nigga shooting in that bitch at the movies. That's the kind of shit was going on when I was growing up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know the, oh, you wanna see a dead body? You know what I'm saying? You can go around the corner living and showing you a dead body. Like that shit was for real for me. You, you living back right now? No, I live in Nola. But I be back and forth because my little girl live in um, Baton Rouge with my mama. Gotcha. So I be going, check on her and be staying with her sometimes. Staying in New Orleans? No, my little girl and my mama stay in BR. But no, I be back and forth. No, you said you live in New Orleans? Yeah, but I live gotcha. in New Orleans. Is there anything that made Zay change? Is there anything that made you say straight and narrow? Or, yeah, no, I mean, I, mean I, I did. I, I gave them people. I ain't do a lot of jail time, but the jail time I have done is enough for me. And then I was getting extradited all across the country behind shit. Like, I don't know if anybody ever been extradited, but that shit was a horrible process. Like, I ain't let nobody ever want to go through. Being in jail in the city, motherfuckers, you don't know nobody in the city. Right. I was locked up in Orlando for six months by myself. You know what I'm saying? Alien. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, what was that like, bro? I mean, shit, this jail, like, you know, like, I'm a stand-up nigga anyway, I'm here, so it's good, but...